guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi my name is muka if you're returning subscribe welcome back bestie so in today's video as you have seen from the title i will be telling you everything you need to know about levy manawasa medical university am i the most qualified person to do this topic probably not <laughs> in my first year but i feel like what I've experienced this year is enough to tell you guys about what it's really like to be here as a first year student so you should know what to expect when you're coming here and the like so um, I made a list so if you see me looking down that's basically what I'm doing oh yes um, I should be I should tell you what I'm doing <laughs> if you're new here uh, I'm studying mental health and clinical psychiatry and I'm in my first year at this uni so let's get into it first things first is the fees um i'll try to leave a link below for the things that like for that thing that has the list of the fees but i can't really say much i can only tell you that we pay termly and fees vary with the program you're doing so if you're doing a certain program you might be charged more than another program yeah so that's basically it and here we have a term system so we do school in terms meaning that we have term one term two term three then you pay according to terms but term one is the most expensive because you know the first time going to school is always <laughs> the most expensive but yeah that's all i can say about the fees Thing is accommodation so um accommodation we have three types of accommodation here not really we but like the students have three types of accommodation so basically it's either you're in school accommodation you're in a boarding house or you are renting a house with your friends or you're coming from home so that's like four <laughs> yeah so we have four types of so let's talk about accommodation I don't even know how this video will come out, but we'll see when editing. <laughs> Anyways, like um, yeah, yeah, like shh, there's my thing. Sorry if you are hearing like noises. It's a gent who was looking for something. The struggle of having a roommate, honey. <laughs> but yeah, so there are three types of accommodation. So under accommodation, I said, um, like I've said, we have there's school accommodation which you have to apply for i'm not sure about how you applied for school accommodation because i never bothered to apply for school accommodation it's more like a boarding school setup and i, I was already in a boarding school and i okay yeah guys so i meant they have communal bathrooms that's what i meant when i said a boarding school type of situation so i just needed to clarify on that i want to go back to that type of lifestyle so i really applied i just looked for a boarding house so i'm currently in a boarding house um then you can come from home depending on how far you are but in your first year i would advise you to look for accommodation that's close to school so that it's easier for you to move around and sorry and get to school so yeah um, the other thing is you can also rent a house but when you're renting a house you need to consider that you have to pay for your own electricity you pay for your own security you pay for what else you do your own furniture you pay for your own water bills and all those other things but like as for us who are in a boarding house it's easier because we our rent it does for all those things so yeah um what else do i have to say about the condition let me just read this <laughs> mm, so okay so prices for accommodation so uh the prices for school accommodation i'm not sure but i think they also range from i'm not sure but for boarding houses per room so it's three thousand okay i'm not sure for school accommodation when you come here you'll find out i can lie to you guys please don't tell me it's recording i'm not what can you do no it's recording it's like a box thing and like and nothing else is showing yes, uh -huh. yes okay, yeah so basically for accommodation like i said you have four forms of accommodation you can come from home you can rent a house in phi or any area surrounding area um i'll put like a list of the areas that you can do that you can find accommodation for this school and yeah <laughs> 
Yes, yeah, that's basically it. Then boarding houses. For boarding houses, they range from 750 to 2000 kwacha, which is an extreme. That's really expensive. So that's how much they went from. And for boarding houses, the price speaks volumes because you can find a boarding house. It's not that nice, as I can say, but okay. <laughs> Again, preferences. So I'll just say that, that uh, the prices for these boarding houses speak volumes. And uh, then you should, if you are going to start looking for a boarding house you, or any type of accommodation, make sure that immediately you get your yeah immediately you get accepted to uni or even right now immediately you get accepted to this uni i won't say if you apply because you may not you may or may not get in and all the best yeah yeah all the best in getting accepted but it's not that difficult if you meet all the standards all the qualifications and the requirements thing so basically when you just get your thing when you just get your acceptance later Let's start looking for accommodation because it runs out fast the good ones that is the good accommodation because returning students also want accommodation the new guys the first years are also going to want to be accommodated so yeah make sure you look for that then um when looking for a boarding house you need to consider how far it is from your from the school is that around it like shopping malls security water bill do they supply water bill how is your landlord how is your environment which area you're in like so many things go into it you should tell me if you want a whole video on that because it's a lot <laughs> but yeah that's basically what i can tell you currently my boarding house um were well, the two of us in this room and boarding houses differ because sometimes you find they range from one person in a room to maybe six ten people in a room and that's again personal preferences if you don't mind being in a room with 10 people it's sure you can find a boarding house like that though i haven't heard of a boarding house that has 10 people the majority that i've heard of is six <laughs> yeah but that's, that's how much they range from and then you should also look for something close to school because it's going to be more convenient for you as a first year student so please look for something that's close by and yeah what else do i have to say about accommodation coming from home i can't say much because i live in lusaka west so that wasn't even an option for me but that's also an option for other people if you live around the school and you can manage to come here every day i wouldn't advise you to look for a boarding house that's very far from the school where you need to climb a bus because sometimes your classes end at 18 hours and as a first year i feel like that would be inconvenient and it's yeah just one of those jump cut people <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it but again it's personal preferences you just look for something that suits you and then the places you can find boarding houses most people just go house by house asking if it's a boarding house or asking your friends but me i found this boarding house from facebook so you just type in <laughs> boarding houses near living manawasa and a lot of them will come that's how you find a boarding house then the next thing is food uh this uni does not provide food for you so you need to carry a fridge a stove and again it depends on where you find accommodations because some people some boarding houses have fridges, stoves, and all those things. But again, it just depends. <laughs> so this is really broad. Then when you're in campus, the places where you can get food from is the cafeteria. And there's a cafeteria in the public cup. I wanted to give you a tour video, but I didn't manage. And this video has to be up tomorrow because I've been procrastinating uploading it for you guys. But yeah, now yeah, it's the time <laughs> so I have to upload it. And then lastly, there's also a canteen just outside school and then my other shop shops where you can get food from and snacks and all those things. And then there are people, some students sell things like jiggies and whatnot. <laughs> so yeah. And then transportation. So most students live near school because it's convenient depending on where you find accommodation. So that's that. <laughs> Then for entertainment, when you come here, when you first come here for entertainment, uh, they throw you guys a freshers bash. And then after that, there's an entertainment committee, but I don't think they've done a lot of programs apart from the freshers bash. 
to be honest i feel like that's the only official official pro the other things that you can participate in they have clubs for sports not really a club but they have sports here you can do politics there's many fun things that you can do and then apart from school entertainment entertainment that's in school the university is in Osaka so you can basically go out anytime you want come home here in uni there's so much freedom and just remember like even though you come here you have all this freedom you can play you can do whatever you want just remember that exams <laughs> will find you tests and quizzes will catch up with you so just manage your time properly but otherwise you can do whatever you want you can buy a tv depending on your accommodation again <laughs> the accommodation that you find you can buy a tv uh, i we don't have a tv here but i have my laptop so i can use that for entertainment for netflix and whatnot so don't my, don't worry about entertainment there's a lot to do and you'll find something for you like classes so classes in your first year oh yes in your first year everyone learns in the main auditorium like me i'm learning from the main auditorium right now then we have groups so i divided in three groups according to your programs so yeah those, like they'll just divide you in three groups i don't know how it would be for you guys but that's how it was for us then um what else i have to say about that uh there are two types of programs here you can do a diploma a degree like for your first year that is then, if you are doing a diploma program it's three years so it's basically like a degree program but without your ns level yeah, that's basically it about the two types of things and there are many programs that they offer all oh, in the medical field you can do emergency medicine it's called you can do a degree in clinical psychiatry there are specialty courses like instead of doing the whole medicine then you specialize you can go directly to specializing like me i specialize in mental health and clinical psychiatry even though i'm just like a first year i don't have to go through the whole process of med school then doing psychiatry so they have ophthalmology a dental school different things that you can pick which one you want yeah you just have to see yourself <laughs> and so a degree program is four years a diploma program is three years and medicine is a degree program but it's six years here so yeah and then the courses that you'll be taking in your first year are mathematics chemistry if you're doing a degree program i don't know about the diploma because i'm doing a degree so if you're doing you'll be doing chemistry mathematics biology and physics those are the courses and i won't say much about the courses because people take subjects differently what you might find easy um, i find difficult but yeah then each course comes with tutorials and labs except from math okay and for math i meant they don't have labs so. and oh yeah an important tip when you come here don't miss tutorials tutorials will really help you so don't whatever uni you go to just don't miss tutorials they're really helpful if you didn't understand in the lecture you can go to your tutorial and they'll explain for you in depth so yeah don't miss tutorials i'll try to see if i can find any helpful links and i'll leave them in the description box below and apart from that i think that's it <laughs> i don't know if i did a good job and helping you guys i hope this video was insightful tips to remember when you get accepted start looking for accommodation number two um just come here and have fun there are a lot of fun things to do when you're in uni because again the freedom is a lot and just uh, manage your time properly make friends enjoy it's like a new chapter in your life so make sure you enjoy it because you only go to uni once <laughs> you're only in uni i don't know the very thing but just ensure that you enjoy make friends and just have a good time even though it's very stressful i won't lie to you guys it's intense it's very intense it's a lot compared to what you'll be coming from but so far it's manageable if you have the interest if you have the interest it's manageable and you can get through this don't worry 
<laughs> yeah anyways i feel like that's all again i'll leave the helpful links in the description box tell me what else you want to see i'll be posting the room tour so now that you know that i'm in a boarding house i don't know if you guys still want to see a tour of my room but yes i'm in a boarding house for the two of us in a room and it's self-contained yeah again that's also what you need to look for like do you want to be in a self-contained room do you want to be sharing are you okay with sharing like you know such things but if you want to be alone in a room just start looking fast for accommodation any time you'll find yourself sleeping on a mattress i'm telling you because there are people who rent out mattress spaces in living rooms as boarding house spaces yeah and that's a thing <laughs> yeah so i think that's basically it Mm. Oh, if you like to leave a like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs> yeah send this to anyone who you would think it would be helpful for and what else yeah just come have fun whatever uni you'll be going to it's probably the same for ns but that's basically it i think that's what i had to say i hope this video was helpful for you and it's finally here <laughs> after procrastinating for a really really long time <laughs> about doing this video um oh and lastly i want to say remember that every person's university experience is different and always try to make the best of every situation so if i had a tough experience maybe for you to be easy and if you don't agree with what i've said it's probably that <laughs> Because we have different experiences. <laughs> so if, yeah, you know what I mean. But that was basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope. Yeah. Bye, guys.